I don't believe plants are exclusively for women. No, that's an outdated statement. And a sexist thought. I've always had a soft spot for plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plants are for everyone. You can't gender nature. Plants yeah. are nature. Yeah. Plants reflect my character. I mean, you, you can just look at my place. This is... I love it. Like, they're everywhere and it's just like they give something different to it, you know? They have like healing properties, like they're a natural remedy to my hangovers. It's amazing, like that. Plants are great. They're not for women. <laughs> not only for women. I don't think men own easy plants. I think men themselves are, are, are just easy. Yeah. See, I don't think it's that difficult to look after a plant, like, at all. But I have plants in my coffee bar. I have plants all over my coffee bar. Customers love them. It draws people in. It just adds a whole energy to the place. Men pick cool plants, like big ones, yeah. rare ones that you never see. Like that, tough. A proper <laughs> plant. This is a proper plant. Yeah. Who is this one? Um, Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Inhabitable. Irresistible. Live. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Women, dig them. <laughs> you know how animals have got that, you know, they've got like pretty feathers behind their heads or, you know, they, they, they do that, that, that sort of mating dance. <laughs> All you have to do is open the door to a, a house full of plants and that's your sort of, that's your backup and... They think that this man is able to take care of something. He's able of, of nesting of building a love nest. I am alive and sexy through <laughs> my plants. <laughs> 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 well...